And the country is doing pretty well. We continue to make progress on the pandemic. President Biden has laid out a new goal to make sure 70% of American adults have at least one dose of the vaccine by July 4th. It's just over 56% now. Also making progress with younger Americans, the FDA is poised to authorize the Pfizer vaccine for 12 to 15 year olds. And Pfizer's aiming to have a vaccine ready for children under 12 by September. And that could make a big difference for kids in school this fall. We're going to talk live with NIH director Dr. Francis Collins in just a moment. But first, Whit Johnson joins us from a mass vaccination site in White Plains, New York. Good morning, Whit. Robin, good morning. This next phase of the vaccine rollout presents a new set of challenges. The infrastructure is already in place. There are plenty of doses available, but demand has dropped considerably. President Biden acknowledging that these next two months are pivotal if we hope to win our independence from the virus. President Biden laying out his administration's newest goals in the fight against the coronavirus, getting 70 percent of adults at least one dose of vaccine and 160 million fully vaccinated by July 4th. That means giving close to 100 million shots, some first shots, other second shots over the next 60 days. The new phase focusing on three areas, adding more vaccine locations, increasing confidence in the shots, and getting children between the ages of 12 and 15 vaccinated. The FDA could expand emergency use authorization of the Pfizer vaccine for that age group in the coming days. They're not yet eligible for a vaccine. The FDA scientists are currently reviewing the data to decide if, if and when authorize that age range for vaccinations. If that announcement comes, we are ready to move immediately. Pfizer announcing Tuesday it hopes to have enough data from several clinical trials to request authorization for children 2 to 11 years old in September and children as young as six months in November. 14-month-old Nathan Galvan, born just months before the world locked down, was part of the trial and has already gotten his first shot. His mother says he's doing great. We're very proud of him. I hope when he looks back, he'll feel proud of himself. And for the first time, the White House is changing the way it distributes vaccines to the states. The allotment was previously based on population, but now if one state declines doses, that supply could be shifted to another state that wants more. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.